And now Darren Farwell joins us. Good morning, Darren. Good morning, Marilyn. So last Saturday, you shared Hugh's story and you explained how a trusted advisor could keep our money working even if we were unable to. What do you have for us today? Well, you know, uh, Marilyn, now that the stock market has, well, you know, more or less calmed down a little, I'm getting calls from clients, clients and their family and friends, just an FYI on that. Leslie and I are always available to spend 10 or 15 minutes on the phone with friends and family of our clients if, if they want us to. We, we really see it as our contribution, helping people make confident, informed choices when things are topsy-turvy, certainly a description for where things are today. And a, a common theme when I'm on the phone is March was crazy. Things went down so far, so fast. I never want that to happen to me again. I never want my investments to go down like that again. What can I do? Well, my answer most of the time is more about preparation than the investments. It's more about planning ahead versus reacting than it is about the stock market. And I think, uh, frankly, Liz's story is the best way of explaining this. Liz is a 74-year-old widow who plays, now online of course, in a widow's bridge group with a client of mine. Liz was upset at the lack of, of communication from her late husband's advisor. And when Liz heard about the calls and updates my client was getting, she asked for my number. And when we spoke, uh, I asked what was on, on her mind, of course, and, and Liz said that the dramatic decline in her portfolio in March had really spooked her. Uh, in fact, it caused her to worry a lot about her income, her lifestyle, her ability to afford long-term care if she ever needed it, and, and to, to a lesser extent, her ability to leave some money to her kids. Liz, Liz rather, also said that her bridge partner, my client, didn't seem overly concerned. And she said she was pretty sure that my client doesn't have much money, more money than she does, so why was it that she wasn't worried? So Liz was A, wondering why, and B, if she could find a way to get that level of confidence to be able to rest more comfortably, even when the market you know, acts up. And it's never easy. It's never going to be easy when the market was doing what it is in March. And at some points it always will, but at least we can be a little more calm about it. And finally, Liz asked me if she should stay all in cash in GICs. So perhaps this was a strategy for it not happening again. These three things were what Liz said were on her mind. So I addressed those first and foremost. I explained to Liz that while I would need to know more about her personal circumstances to give specific answers, and I'd be glad to give her a second opinion if she would like that. However, I believe the answer to her questions really lay in the process we bring to all of our clients, including her friend. Our process is called your personal roadmap. And your personal roadmap includes a personal service agreement through which we, in writing, commit to our regular contact with you. Communication with your wealth advisor, particularly during tumultuous times, is key to confidence and to calm. Every client was contacted by phone at least once in March, and there were regular emails as well. Your personal roadmap also includes a personal, easy-to-understand financial plan. And that plan is the foundation of your investment decisions, as well as a guide to whether you're on track with your long-term goals. It's like an ongoing monitor. And I said to Liz that one reason many clients were reasonably calm is that even in March, they knew for sure two things that came directly from our planning. Number one, Three to five years' worth of their income needs was set aside in cash and low-risk investments, which meant that the market had no impact on their current income needs, so no threat to their lifestyle. And number two, when we compared our clients' total net worth, even at the end of March, to where we planned they would be in our financial planning, at that point, they were still well ahead of the plan. Remember, 2019 was a very good year, and we've had many good years prior to March 2020. Marilyn, I remember in Boy Scouts growing up, one motto was, be prepared. Of course, as a young teenager, I ignored that. However, 
once I began accepting the responsibility of steward of our client's wealth, that simple saying came ringing true. If you want your wealth to stay ahead of inflation and taxes over time, some of your savings need to be invested. And for many, often surprisingly, the risk of not being invested is in fact bigger than over the long term than the fluctuations we saw in March. So you're going to have to be in the market. And market timing, you know, never works. Warren Buffett's famous for saying that the Market Timing Hall of Fame has zero members. What's the strategy to handle all of that? One, have a plan. Two, be prepared. And three, keep your income in a safe place. Keep your income needs in cash and low-risk investments. At the end of all this, Liz asked me for more information about our service, your personal roadmap, and we'll share that with listeners who would like to know more about it as well. I know you have a document, a personal roadmap. Do you still have that document, and is it still the case that you would send it to listeners? If that's the case, Mary, I would be glad to do that. We all have our worries and anxieties and want to plan for our future. If someone wants to speak to you and ask their questions and get their personal answers, how do we reach you? A lot of questions on people's minds these days having gone through, you know, February and March and and feeling a little bit like things are calm here. So there's been time to reflect and think about questions. So feel free. uh, Give us a call. 416-863-7501. We're glad to spend some time answering your questions. So it's never too late to make a plan. It's never too late to get a second opinion, and you have Darren Farwell and the Farwell team willing to speak to you and answer your questions. The phone number, 416-863-7501. Thank you, Darren.